Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Well, recently I was on a trip sea fishing, and one of those sea fish I caught was a fish called the oil fish, which lived in very deep water. And I was sort of fascinated because I've seen fish like this before. And his eye, when you shone a light on it, because we were night fishing for these, they were a very, very deep water predator, it came out sort of oh, like an opalescent glow. And I got thinking, do you know what? That fish looks awfully like a sander. And Xander, I know, are pretty well nocturnal feeders or low light conditions. Now, these oil fish I caught were really big fish, up to 100 pounds in weight, not small fish at all. But what I did do one night, three or four of us fishing on the boat, I put a Silum light stick, which is a chemical light stick that you crack like this, you shake, mix two chemicals together, and it makes a glow. I thought, well, do you know what? I wonder if that'll make these oil fish 200 feet down home in on the boat a bit more. It could be my fishing skill, guys, but one oil fish caught on this side of the boat, four oil fish to 100 pounds caught on my bait with a Silum light stick. So I thought, hey ho, I've got this cracked. I'm going to go to Old Berry Hill Lake at Dorking where the Xander are, and where I go fishing with Mike, take Mike along. I will fish with the Silum light stick. He will fish without the light stick, and we'll see who kicks whose butt. It went like this. We started by throwing out small chunks of dead roach into the swim, cut into three little four inch roach into the lake. There were other people fishing around there as well. It was an idyllic setting in the autumn. All the leaves were just about, some of them already come off the trees, and it was just about to fall into the water. And this is one of the best times, what I would call late autumn, early winter. Now those leaves laying on the bottom is exactly what it's gonna look like to the fish. It's going to be all stuff on the bottom and I wanted to make sure that my bait could be seen by them so I put the light stick on them. Already there were other people there fishing for Xander and, as this gentleman's got one, they were coming on the bait late afternoon. It was one of those evenings where the wind had died away. It was a nice bit of cloud, a bit of overcast, late autumn, perfect fishing time. And were we going to get fish? We'd certainly give it a go. Well, we didn't have too long to wait, guys. This is uh, apparently a Xander on the end of this. And this, wait for this, I've got those light sticks that I showed early on. Now, whether the fish is going to stay on with a single hook, I don't know. It's barbless. He's going well on the Avon rod. We've seen two or three other small ones caught over there. This one's digging. Pretty sure I'm going to try and chance it and leave my other line in the water because what they do reckon is that when there's one, there are others coming around in schools, and a guy over on that far bank actually had one, then another one straight after it. So assuming we're in Zander territory, we've got this rod room. Now we're only on even rods, not using big carp rods or anything like that. They're perfectly adequate. It's not a big fish. It's going for the bushes. Grateful for it though. Oh no, you're oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, five pounds, I'd say. That's a nice Xander. Single hooks does work here as well, doesn't it? Does, it? Doesn't you think it, it yeah. doesn't, but it definitely works. It'll drop back bite as well. I've only got the, uh, the real nail on back wind as well. So I take the little clicker off here and I can backwind it and just let it go under pressure. A bit better than a drag, especially if you've got a sticky drag or something like that. Get this fish in the neck. Don't worry. Here he comes. Get in. He's in. She's bigger than I thought. I thought it was about three or four pounds. It's way more than that. Hey, that's a good fish. So what I do is, guys, I'm just going to unhook this with a pair of long nose forceps there. And I'm just going to turn that hook right round. Now how easy was that? That was ridiculously easy. And this fish, I guess, is seven pounds? I don't know. Now you won't see it in the light here, guys, but this is what I was talking about earlier when I was thinking about those oil fish. That there's something in their eye, sort of reflective, and makes it go, 
sort of orangey colour where they can see, but this one actually took, believe it or not, the way I got the two light sticks on mine and Mike hasn't, and this one took the light sticks. You can see there, you're gonna hold still for me. There's his spines, look. And there's his secondary dorsal, which is softer. Let's get this kitty back, and looking at it from that way, look how pointed that head is. Just there, it's a proper, full-on predator. There you go. And the teeth, well, they speak for themselves. A lovely fish, pleased with that one. A quick still. Get it back. Well, no sooner had Dad put that fish back that I've now had another bite. We're getting into dusk time now, the witching hour. No now, light stick, yeah, is it? No, no light stick on this one, but again, just close in the margins. We're all margin fishing here. You don't need to cast miles. You can see the bait sliding up the line there. And yeah, it looks like he's hooked quite nicely, actually. So I'm right in the jaws, right on the scissors. We'll get him in the net and hopefully uh, get a better look at him. He's hanging there, that hook. Okay, look, just shows you margin fishing, small baits, single hooks here at Berry Hill Fisheries. Lovely autumnal day, we've got the leaves falling down. It's a really, really nice evening and uh, perfect conditions really for predator fishing. What was bite like? Very, very finicky. I think a lot of the Xander bites that I've had are very finicky. Um, it was a drop back bite, just a couple of beeps on the uh, bite alarm. And you often need to strike relatively quickly because you don't want a deep hooked fish even though you do have a single hook, which is great for unhooking them, especially with wicked teeth like they've got there. But we'll put it back. We've got probably, I'd say, another easily hour and a half of yeah. good fishing time. And that's one all. One, and it's, one, yeah. one to the light stick and one to no, no light yeah, stick. Yeah, it's, no, it's good. We'll get, this, get a quick photo and then we'll get it back. Awesome looking fish. Let him recover a bit. Just hold him. Well, it's just got dark as you can see. It's been very, very quiet for about an hour. We've had nothing, no beeps, no one really had anything on the lake. Dad's alarm's just gone off. Mine's gone off. I've got a fish, he's got a fish, I think. Are you in? No. No. He's had bites though. We've just got right into dust now, so it's just getting dark. And uh, I've got another nice sander on. Nice one. Then my last one, yeah. Well, there we go, folks. Definitely a, a bigger one than the last one I had. Um, and they definitely switched on a bit more and we were talking about that eye earlier Dad was talking about the similarities with the oil fish and the sort of night feeders you can tell they're night predators just by that eye they've got big eyes, big teeth lots of spikes definitely the signs of a predator we'll get this one back definitely got a bit more bait that we can uh, get out there and hopefully get another one still in with a chance always in with a chance here there we go, he might rip off or he might go slowly. Just recover him a bit. Oh, he's gone. Gone, no problem. Awesome. Well, no sooner had I just put that bait out that another Berry Hill Zander is on the end of the on the end of the hook. Really strong take this one. It's a, it's a similar sized fish. Um, quite an aggressive take actually for a Zander compared to what I've normally had. And uh, thankfully we've got Dave here with the net. Here he comes, his man. 
Man of the moment. Just to give Man us a bit of the moment hand. Man of the moment is a big net. Yes, we need it. one. The rope yeah. supply system. Have a bigger boat. <laughs> I'll bring him, if you get around there, I'll swim. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. Teamwork. Oh, Thank you, Thank you very much. It's a nice looking fish again. It's good. Fantastic. If we could just shoot the ducks and the dogs, it'd yeah. be a wonderful evening. <laughs> okay. Definitely you. That's a fish. Hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> My back line's on. My, uh... <laughs> it's right. <laughs> get a bit of cover there. There you go, it's your I'll, fish. I'll you... go on no, no, give me that. <laughs> no, you get that one back. <laughs> Alright, we'll get this one back and then you have that. <laughs> How can we employ Dave at this stage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He can oh, cast out the other rod while we... You can hold the camera, two, Dave. Just, the two-rodded uh, yeah. crucial affair. Yeah. This is <laughs> the double rod crucial. Every time Dave turns up, something yeah. bizarre happens. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that fish is away. Well, All gone. Right. You right? That Dave will jump me to... Yeah, you might as well yeah, be the yeah, expert. No, you can... Let, let, Dave, grab well, the, he'll grab the net again, Dave, Dave if you don't mind. Done, he's done yeah, crucial be... films and everything. <laughs> yeah. There we go. You got your net anyway? Yeah, we got him, yet. Yeah. There's one out and one in. <laughs> That's oh, no. Brilliant. Well, there we go. It's one of the benefits of having a son. He not only nets a fish for you, he lets you fish in his swim as well. <laughs> so what a great little session we've had. We've been in like two hours, can you believe, for Xander. And we've got to go for that totally awesome last cast. Well, <laughs> again, we do this last cast. We keep doing it on the Totally Awesome Fishing Show, the last cast. And we keep getting the last fish. This was a better take. Much better take. It's a nice sized fish again. Good average size. And it looks like it's nicely hooked as well, which is helpful for us. It's always a benefit. And, and Dave's here again. Dave, I'm getting a bit fed up. I've got to get home for my tea lad. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much. He's in the net again. Thanks, Dave. My pleasure, it's been enjoyable seeing a few fish caught. <laughs> right, there we go. We've got to stop now because uh, Dave's, Dave's got to go home. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll insist upon one more. Yeah, there we go. The eight pound is out there waiting for you. <laughs> it is, somewhere. Somewhere. But at the moment we're enjoying it. Not bad for a couple of hours session, We don't want to stop, really, yeah. <laughs> get this one back. I'm definitely going to chuck out again quickly. See if we can get maybe one more fish. Wow, long fast. He didn't hesitate. Well, Hi, Mike. Yeah, well Dave's, done, Dave's on the net. He's still not gone he's, home yet. He's still, he's, we're still talking. <laughs> we're talking about pike places now. Yeah. And another one hits the, another one bites the dust. He's in. Brilliant. We get the four sets. <laughs> I promise you guys, this is the last Xander. We're not going to... I am going to cast out again, but... Well, that doesn't mean it's the last Xander, does it? No, but it's up to the Xander, really. When they want to stop, we'll stop. And we're talking the old man's extremely pissed. It's 5-1 at the moment. It is, yeah. It is, yeah. Nice fish, show. Nice fish, yeah. And a, and a cracking take. I'm not used to these sort of aggressive takes at the moment, but it's, it's keeping me on my toes. Getting back. 